friends, I just got through filming a Dollar Tree um, small haul and an intro for the Dollar Tree um, shop. Probably will go up after this after you see this uh, I have not really filmed this week honestly I, I don't know where my time is going I need to start getting back into the groove um, last weekend we went to my cousin's funeral um, <laughs> Heartbreaking and beautiful at the same time. So Surrounded by your glory, what will my heart feel when I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all of you be still when I stand in your presence? Or to my knees? family members that we normally don't get to see only anymore it's only been mostly funerals but those you know that type of thing starts happening where you see your families at weddings and funerals and <laughs> relative and you happen to be watching this hey and also uh yeah we need to start planning um festive gatherings so well, we do kind of sort of have one too with the, the women in my mom's side of the family we we all meet up monthly for like a prayer group we're all like our prayer warriors we pray together and and we um plan things and just visit but anyway, I'm rattling on. So we did that last weekend. It rained uh, coming back from Visalia to um, home. And I love this weather. This week has been rainy and foggy. Today's Saturday, uh, Saturday night as a matter of fact. I got up at 1.30 p.m. as I usually do because I worked. I got off work this morning. I got off work this morning, I made myself a massive cheesy omelet, pigged out, then I had dessert, pigged out, I got stomach ache, still on my keto, um, and I fell asleep watching, I've been binge watching off of Netflix, the Gilmore Girls, I love it, love it, never watched it when it was actually on TV, but right now, I love it, because I love binge watching shows, if you guys do the same oh, thing, give us a thumbs up. Let me go back, um, again, talking about the funeral and 
my cousin's beautiful daughter. She's not only gorgeous, she's talented. And those songs, um, I heard one of my cousins say that um, uh, her dad, who passed away, had actually chosen these songs to be sung at his celebration of life. Um, what I'm, what I wanted to say is, I'm going to put them in the vlog. I did not ask Rosalinda or her mom permission. I'm sorry. Um, so if they come at me, because I know she watches, Rosalinda watches my, my videos sometimes. So, um, if she asks me to take it out, I'll take it out. Also, um, I'm going to put it up, but if, because of the songs, they, I might get copyrighted. If I do, I'll have to go in there and, and trim it out, um, as well. I hate to get copyrighted and being that I'm going to put this vlog up as a vlog, I will just go in and I'll trim it instead of deleting and starting all over again. Anyway, um... So, yeah, after that, um, that was, you know, um, it, it was a lot of emotions there. So, I'm trying to remember because I had to cut off my, my compute, my computer, my phone ran out of room. So, I just started emptying it and then I put everything into the laptop and I've been editing so far. So I have the laptop on my lap right now. Let me turn the phone off. Oh, see, I'm, I'm, I'm editing and stuff. So I am kind of sort. And then I have my baby right here. And I got stuff I wanted to show you guys. And my, my little one came to fall asleep. Of that my youngest grandson loves to still. I have three grandsons. One's already a handsome young man. <laughs> He's an adult. Um. And, um, my other one, another handsome young man, almost entry, he's a teenager, and this little guy is my youngest, and he likes to spend time still with grandma, so the other two have their lives, so, um, my, my middle one does see me, he comes to see me every day, and I love that, but as far as spending the weekends, this is the one that likes to come, and I don't get to see him every day, like, Anyway, I'm rattling. So, I showed you I have my little Jade in here. I'm editing. And I, um, after the funeral, you know, I, I'm not good with dates. I have not been, like I said, I have not been vlogging or filming. But on January 6th, every year, my daughter-in-law and her mom have brought this new tradition. We've celebrated this before in the past with my grandmother's. Who are no longer here with us. But when my eldest son married um, her, his wife, her and her mother brought this tradition back into our family. And it's every January 6th um, called Dia de los Reyes. The Christmas story, you know, where the three wise kings or wise men, I say, I say kings because it means kings, um, 
where they follow the star to find baby Jesus. And then they give him, you know, the gifts of silver and gold. This is a Bible story, basically. So we had, since they brought that tradition back, we um, celebrate it the way Mexico does with the, um, oh, now I'm going to butcher up everything. Rosca, the bread is called Rosca something. Correct me, please, down in the comment box. Um, and then we have the Mexican hot chocolate with it. And then the bread has like the little baby Jesus. It's like a little doll in there. And um, whoever gets them, I think there's three of them, um, according to my daughter-in-law and her mom. Whoever gets them um, hosts a party, another party. So I don't know exactly how that goes, but I know that we usually use that that party as um uh super bowl foot super bowl football uh the super bowl blah let's just spit that out um that's what we host the family gathering that the super bowl party so um i don't know if i'm making sense i'll try i'm not going to enter anything in here i was thinking I'll, well, maybe I will. I'll find something to kind of put the tradition, explain it a little bit. I just follow along. If there's a party, you guys, I'm there. Especially if I'm here and they bring it over here. I live here. I That makes it even better because I'm comfortable. I'm here at home. And I love to join in. Um, so, I love this celebration. Like I said, my, my son and daughter-in-law, um, since they've been married, we've been we've been doing this. And it's a beautiful tradition, and I'm really enjoying it, and I'll look forward to it every year. As a matter of fact, we keep our Christmas decorations up until January 6th, after January 6th. So, today, now let me fast forward to today. No, let me go. And then also, wait, this week, I also, I'm throwing some clips in there of the garage, the man cave. Um, one of my sons keeps some of his arcades and stuff in here. So he does a lot of, he buys vintage machines, he fixes them, you know, and, and the kids love to come over and play. So I, I threw some, um, we had a fun day with the, with the guys in my life, my baby brother, my son, and my grandsons, and my brother's grandson. Anyway, I love doing that stuff. So I threw some clips of that in there. <laughs> now, let's fast forward to today, which um, is probably not Saturday anymore. It's probably Sunday already, Sunday morning. Um, which, you guys, um, when I'm on my days off, I don't sleep. I keep my work schedule so that way when I go back to work on Monday night, I'm not going to, it's not going to be hard on me. So today, this this morning, 1.30 when I woke up, I got up, washed up, um, I threw my uh, outside shoes on, <clears throat> went to the backyard. It was really windy, <coughs> really, really super windy. I'm going to drink some water. And I love the wind. I love the rain. Hold on. And I don't like to drive in the fog, but I love the fog. Well, we're no, t we're very famous for fog here. Anyway, so but today it was windy, so I went outside and I started pulling oranges off my tree. Which this is very late. I usually get the oranges off my orange tree in the backyard by or before Christmas, before the freeze starts. But we really haven't had any freezes here, so I and we got a ton of oranges this year. And the reason why it's, I I'm glad one of my coworkers told me because she loves to bake. She's like, I've been wanting to make an orange cake, and I'm like, I'll bring you oranges. So this morning I got up, I emptied the tree, and there was like I said, there was a ton of oranges. Um, and then I started taking Christmas down. I was up on. I was taking uh, Christmas or yeah Christmas ornaments off the tree, and I was telling my mom, "I've been picking trees all day today, orange trees, excuse me, Christmas tree." Anyway, excuse me. Um, so that's what we did. I took 
I started taking Christmas down. We took the lights outside. All of outside is put up. Well, taken down. It's not put up yet. We have it in the front patio. And I've gathered a lot of stuff in the house. We got the tree halfway down. My other son and his wife and their their family, they were all here. Um, they came and we had, um, you know, I stopped doing that stuff and visited. It was a, a really fun day. And then after they left, they, they um, yeah, they left. They took some oranges too. Um, like I said, we got a ton of oranges. I filled up a couple of bags and I drove to work. I took mom and Jaden with me. We went put gas in the car, drove across town, went to work, went to go take oranges to work. One of my co work daytime shifts, I, he was like, Uh, oh, you come to work in your sweats and tennis? I'm like, No, I'm not working. I'm not working. Here's the oranges. Bye. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, um, and then after that, we went, What did I do? Oh, Jaden wanted pizza. So we went and got him a, a large pepperoni pizza. And then I went to Vaughn's and got some, his dad wanted milk, cereal, coffee creamer. You know, mom with her, uh, Vaughn, the reason why I went to Vaughn's because mom wanted, because they have like a fresh bakery in there. She wanted muffins. So I went inside, grabbed everything, came back out. We came home. And this is what I've been doing, you guys. I thought, I better sit down and see what I have. I was going to show you some of the things that I got on, on my, on the flash sale. Um, I hit a couple of flash sales. I think I showed you guys already the Too Faced. Um, I'm loving this lip plumper. Um, and then, um, Urban Decay, I got an Urban Decay palette. This was like 60% off, you guys. And Urban Decay is kind of sort of pricey. It's like, I look at it like a high-end, um, a high-end cosmetic. But, um, let me show you the, the colors. It's mostly neutral. It's a really pretty palette. So, because of the low price, I got, and I really like the, the, the packaging. And it's really pretty really pretty so and it comes with a little brush in there and I have been using the light I love neutral colors and then um, also Urban Decay I got some their lip color it's called Vice these are the two colors again this was off a flash sale that I found on in Facebook and it was 60% off let me turn that light on I'll do a swatch hold on so here's a swatch. Look at the colors. They're just really pretty. And I love the packaging here too. But those are the swatches. Um, the pink one is creamy. And the natural one, nude, nudie natural, it uh, is a matte. It'll turn matte as well. So these are it, you guys. Those those are what I got from the flash sale. Really pretty. I love this makeup stuff. If I can get stuff for really, really low price, which I did, um, I'm happy. Then those are the colors. So. so this is my vlog for this week, you guys. Honestly, I have spent the whole week working and sleeping. Sleeping and working. I feel like all I ever do is sleep. I got a random call uh, to interview for a promotional position. I love my job, you guys. I'm not trying to leave it. Seriously, not trying to. But I thought, what the heck? I went to go interview because it is a promotional. But it was really early Friday morning. And I was um, fog brain. Because, you know, I was up all night working the night before. So, we'll see. I doubt it. Because I, I know, really, they probably thought, Holy moly, what is wrong with that girl? How did she pass that test? <laughs> I took that test back in, I want to say, April or May of last year. 
and and I think you stay on the hiring list for two years. So that, like I said, it was a random call because I hadn't heard from him ever since I took that test. And then I took, then I went to go apply for this position that I have, but they didn't make me test because I've been this position before in the past. And, and I, I thought that was weird. I thought I would have to take the test again, but they called me and said, you want to interview? I'm like, yeah. And then I got the job. So like I said, I'm not trying to leave the job. It's a promotional position and I just go for interviews for the practice. And this time I was a joke. I know I was, <laughs> but I was dressed very, very professional. <laughs> of course, like I was telling you at the beginning of this vlog or, or no, not this vlog. I was in my Dollar Tree. I'll tell you, but watch my Dollar Tree haul. I'll try to put it up Monday or Tuesday at the latest. But honestly, I have not been filming. Shame on me. My goal right now is to get me a vlogging camera, get me a planner, a proper planner, and then move forward with the rest of this year. I have some things to tell you, but I'll put it, I'll put it, I'm going to try to vlog a little bit more, you guys, um, because I haven't been shopping to do the shop with me's, I really want to focus on hauls this year, planners, beauty, I have some reviews to do for like skincare. Um, as you probably noticed, I'm out of my eyebrow pencil. I gotta go get some. I use, I like to use the e.l.f eyebrow pencils because they're really easy to use. I love their spoolies and they're only two bucks. I'm a major bargain person. I love bargains. So anyway, I think that's all I have to say for now, you guys. Have an awesome Sunday and I will come back at you more frequent. I only put up one vlog last week, one upload last week, and that was it. Shame on me. I feel bad, but I'm going to try to step it up and get with the program. <laughs> Please give a thumbs up. Love you guys. See you later. See you later.